And it's where you expect your kids to be safe. But our exclusive Five on Your Side investigation uncovered how Ohio fails to protect students inside their schools and allows sexual predators to leave a trail of victims. Investigator Sarah Buttison, you found the state's system now is far from foolproof. Absolutely. We know the vast majority of teachers and school employees are highly ethical people working to educate students. But there are always exceptions, and we found serious loopholes in the state system make it easy for predators to evade detection until it's too late. The school was the worst place for me to be. Laura Lee Allen was just 14 years old. It was just putting his arm around me. When she was molested, it had gotten worse and worse from there. By her music teacher. No matter how many times I had said, no, I don't want this, every time I went back, it happened again. She told no one. She was afraid. After all, Tim Shook was the most popular teacher at Riverside High in DeGraff. And everyone trusted him. We've heard stories like Laura Lee's before of sexual abuse in schools. What happened in the situation was, was very wrong. Take Nathan Harris. As Lakewood High's band teacher, he was caught having sex with a 16-year-old student at the Rocky River Reservation and pled guilty to sexual battery. I'd like to offer an apology to the two of you um, for my behavior. In fact, our investigation found during just the past 18 months, at least 80 Ohio educators got in trouble for sexually related misconduct. I'm offended. Um, I'm appalled. John Syriac is the vice president of Sesame, an advocacy group for survivors of school sexual abuse. We can't have the bad apples in our system. We have to do a better job. And that's the problem. Times have changed, but Ohio hasn't kept pace. Nobody is clear on exactly what policies to have. Students and teachers now expected to communicate in real time. And as texting and messaging expands, so do opportunities for abusers. It's a great tool for them because it allows access to the student any time of the day, 24-7. It almost has to be too late before it gets to anybody's attention. Candace Risen is a psychotherapist who evaluates and treats people who get in trouble for sexual misconduct, including educators. She says their colleagues often know something's wrong. But we also found Ohio doesn't require educators receive training to recognize and report sexual abuse inside schools. And I, I think that's too bad because some of these things could easily have been nipped in the bud. Creating more challenges for those who are supposed to root out those bad apples. There's just too much temptation to cover things up. And it's easy. Schools don't have to tell state investigators if they suspend an educator for sexual misconduct. They are supposed to report when an educator resigns or is fired. How do you know they've reported it to you? Well, we have multiple layers of referrals that come in. Lori Kelly is the director of the Ohio Education Department's Office of Professional Conduct, which investigates abuse allegations. But you don't really know whether or not they've reported something. No, we, we do not do that function where we go back to every school. Something had to have came out somewhere. Take Tim Shook's case. He already should have been in jail. Years before he was hired at Riverside, Shook taught at nearby Covington High School in Miami County. In 2005, he resigned. He said he planned to pursue his master's degree. But during his eventual trial for abusing Laura Lee and two other Riverside students, one revealed a very different reason for his departure. She testified Shook left Covington when teachers started asking questions about him having sexual relations with a student. It turned out there were two more victims, but no one took action. There was no paper trail in his personnel file, so Riverside had no clue when it brought him on board. With two counts of sexual battery. Shook was found guilty and sentenced to nine years in prison. But another part of his punishment meant more to Laura Lee. He will never have the opportunity to do this again. His license to teach was permanently revoked. And have someone's trust like he had mine. If this story has you wondering what's happened at your child's school, go to our NewsNet 5 app. We created an interactive map that lets you look up who's been disciplined in your district. On your side, I'm investigator Sarah Buttison, News Channel 5.